Hey friends, how's she going, everybody? <laughs> I hope well. I hope real well. I sure, uh, I don't know. I, I, I sure appreciate all the, uh, the, the kind words from people uh, recently, lately. I, I don't know what it is, but uh, I, I'm, I'm getting comments, and, and I, I guess maybe more people are, are seeing some of the stuff and some of the tree jobs and. Uh, some of the techniques I, I, I appreciate it I really do um, so thank you everybody for for the comments keep them coming it really helps things I'm slowly building the channel this week I'm going in to see uh, actually Thursday I'm going in to see Shaw TV our local TV station where we're working a few of you've of, of, uh, I've mentioned about a TV show a local TV show we're working on and uh, uh, we're we're going in to do some editing on uh, on uh, on Thursday on this Thursday. So anyway, that's another story. But back to the main business. This now uh, there's a lot of stuff, and I just I just put this on here. You know, guys, I've got a few videos on there about file and chain, and you know my cameras. I I can't get right in, and you know this. But you guys, whoever's looking at file and a power saw, I mean, I I, I urge you. I, I just do because, you know, it's not just now. We're not just talking now. We're talking about when our grandkid comes up to us and says, hey, Papa, you know, I got to file this power saw because the guy at work asked me to, you know what I mean? Do you know how to, do, can you show me how to do this, Papa or Grandpa? And and you being the Grandpa, you know, 30 years, 40 years down the road, of course I can, young fella. Come on over and let me show you. Now you grab this piece of steel and you put this on this thing and you put it in, forget that stuff. Here, boy, get the file. This is what we're going to do. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion. It's just one guy on YouTube who says old school's the way to go. I know there's a few other fellas that, that run the guides, and, and that's great. And, and, and good, good, if that's what you want to do. Now, this just gives you kind of an idea. I, I, always talk about, I always talk about getting a gullet, okay? You've got to get this gullet out of here. You're going to be cutting nothing. You just, you know, if your teeth shanks back like that, it's no good for nothing. You'll cut. And if you don't know no different, you, you, it won't make no difference to you. It's like growing up rich or growing up poor. If you grew up poor and all of a sudden you're rich, you'd be a grateful son of a gun, wouldn't you? But if you grew up rich and all of a sudden you became poor, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> that was just an analogy. Anyhow, uh, I'm dealing with a ripping chain right now that's about 30 feet long. Um, yeah, so we've got, and I'm just, I'm just giving you an idea of, of, of what the file, the file does here. I had one the other day on there and, and uh, it was, I just wanted you to see kind of, I got to put my foot on the slack. Look at this guys and gals, women and children. Look at this. Look at, look at how long this chain is. This is a four foot freaking bar, but look at the chain. Look at it. It's five feet long. Look at, there's my leg. <laughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so, here's this gullet. I'm always going off about this gullet. You got to get it. You got to get the gullet out. Okay? So, you know, there's a few different ways of doing that. You can you can get it out. You know, just start by get, get, getting getting down, you know. Uh, don't, don't 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 do this. Don't do this. Because as we file, we look down and we see that top edge, we don't really notice the side. And all of a sudden, if, if you find yourself filing and, and you find yourself, well, you find, your, ah, you find yourself slipping off, I can guarantee you, if you look at the side of your thing, you got no hook at all. You're probably, you're probably like this. You know what I mean? You gotta have a hook so that file stays in there. You, you can't be doing this flicking off like that, okay? I file, I file both ways. I file one-handed and then I go to the other side. But this just is going to give you an idea. And I was talking to one of my fellas there on the line there on the, on the, uh, on the YouTube. There. Yeah, see, this has got quite a, quite a problem here. Look, you, you'll see it. See the, you see that the tooth there's got a, it hit a nail. We were in the mill and, and we hit a nail. Oh my goodness, am I getting there? I think I am. I'm almost done. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Anyway, actually, I am almost done. So, you see what's happening here? Listen listen to the... Chips are flying. 
you gotta have a good file for starters. And you see the you see the file going through there? It's going through fairly straight. This is a ripping chain, so we've got 10 degrees here. Don't be afraid to file a ripping chain. If it's if it's what you got, it's what you got. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm done. Woohoo! I can't believe it. Wow, that was a long haul. You know, I used to joke. Oh, never mind. I won't bother. You know, so, so, oh, no, here we go. There's one there. That was probably right when I started. Look at this, guys and gals, women and children. Look at this. So here we go. Now, now remember, we, you know, we got these people talking, oh, your, all your teeth got to be the exact same size and you got to hit them, hit the, hit the teeth, you know, all the same amount of strokes. No, you do not. It would be nice if you could see the size of this tooth. But actually, look at it. It's had the top smashed right off it by a nail. Okay? There's the gullet. There's the gullet. The gullet. The gullet is still there. A nice gullet on these. On these. Okay? Other side. Gullet. You know, you've got to have a gullet. You've got to have that roundness in there. This file, it's funny. I was talking to these guys about this file. In this this round chain, it's a, it's a ripping chain, of course. So so it's round. You notice it? You, you notice how round it is on the edges? I'm talking, right? Oh, that must have been. Yeah, I must have had raker gauge or something on there. Okay, so 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 well, listen to this and, and and watch. See how how rough that is. That's because it got horribly smacked. Now, you get the idea. I'll show you this thing after we get it done. I just, I'm a huge advocate of the gullet. Gotta have the gullet. So there, that took whatever it took. So there's the chain that I just, there's the tooth. Remember how big it looked? But now that I've taken the rock out of it, it's pretty near all the same size as all these now. Okay, so this isn't bad. Sure, there's the odd one that's a little teeny longer and this and that. But that's where the raker gauge comes in handy, okay? You see, now you put this here now. Okay, I'm going to actually put you guys there. Here's my raker gauge, okay? Here it is. So, now, it's all about digging into the wood. The chain's going through the wood, okay? So it's going through the wood. Grabbing wood and whew, ripping it out of there. Now, I'll bet you. See, I'm I'm almost. Yeah, you see, I almost don't even want to hit the rakers. Because it was really hungry last time. Way too hungry. I'm just going to go over this ever so slightly so it's not chattering. I'm just going to run over, you see, with the with the um, with the gauge. And just make sure there's no really high ones. These are all fine. They're just ever so slightly just, yeah, see that one's fine. Yeah, that's fine. The, the, there's the odd one that'll be kind of high because of the fact that there was a, a, a really bad rock, uh, the nail, I mean, that we hit. And it'll be, it'll be much, much higher, you see. So we can roll this quite a ways. Oh dear. Oh, I see. There we go. So let's get back on the wagon here. Yeah, good. All right. Yep. This is actually going to cut quite nice, I think. You don't want them all cranking way up. Okay. Let's make sure we... Yep, see that tooth had a little more off it than the others. See this one. is not even, it's not even, look at, it's not even touching. You, you, you see what I mean? That came out of the saw shop. That tells me that I might not even have filed that. I'm gonna file that again. Now, now this is important. Guys and gals, women and children, I want you to watch this. What the hell was that? This is important, this is Shaw TV. I just need to let them know that I'll be here. Yes, done. Perfect. Okay, the TV station's coming. 
Now, guys and gals, women and children, check this out. Raker gauge, okay? I hope, I hope you're close enough there. It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. This is important, very important. Now, okay, so you put your raker gauge on there. It's touching the teeth. Now, okay, good sign. That tells you that you're not really, really hungry and it's way below the actual place it's supposed to be. So that, that's fine. I can leave that. I, I'm okay with that. I can see where it's at. It's taken a little bit. It's okay to be <clears throat> getting rid of that stupid thing. There. Okay. So, so this is interesting. Now, oh, I'll bet this one's up in the air. Yeah, it is because of uh, that had quite a bit of action to it. So, you know what's interesting? So this is good. This is a good sign. Now, here's one that, watch. Okay, we're on. It's, you see what I mean? It's not even hitting the tooth. So that means the raker is below where it's actually supposed to be. That's not good. You'll get a chatter. It'll be hungry. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take up this bite, my chain here. And I'm actually going to go like this, guys and gals, women and children. Let's pull this back a bit. I'm going to show you something. If you got a hungry chain and you're not excited about it, run your file over it. This is a bit of a weird angle, but I don't need to take a lot. I'll bet that's enough right there. Now, same tooth, flat file, raker gauge. Right there. Soft wood. Boom. You see what I'm saying? So now, there we go. I'm leaving it. So you gotta, you, you can't be really hungry, guys and gals. It, it's, I mean, you can in small wood and, and little power saws. You know, but in, in big wood, yeah, you, you're slowing your power saw down, believe it or not. You may think you're cutting faster. You are in, in small wood. There's no doubt about it. If you got a hungry, hungry chain, uh, it's not the safest. You can't really flick wood. Well, anyways, I'll leave it there. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to, I'm not cracking these right down. You can hear, I, I could keep going, but I'm not going to. I'm just taking a couple hits off them. Because I filed this pretty good, okay? So we, we want to bite. You know, we do want to bite in the chain. But we don't want a crazy bite. We, we want this thing to run smooth. We don't want the motor working real hard. So this will be interesting. I'll, I'll be interested to see how... Uh, how this actually cuts for the boys on the old uh, Lucas Mill by hand. Okay, the hand filing, bucking hand filing. This looks like I might be done here. Uh, the, the rakers go so much faster than the teeth, doesn't it, eh, guys? Gals, women, Sharon. I don't want to leave anybody out. Uh oh, is that, yeah, it is. Now look at that. Isn't that interesting? Buck and Billy Ray finds another one. And you'll wonder, you'll wonder to yourself, why have I got a chatter in my chain? Well, why, why am I chattering? Well, you're chattering because you forgot a tooth and the raker is so low that that tooth has taken a great big chunk of wood out. You got me? Taking a great big piece of wood out. Maybe even be another one. So now, here we go. Are, are you guys feeling me? You know, I mean, even this. I'm just gonna. This chain is like super long. I just gotta make sure I got. Yeah, these these actually. I think I. It's such a long chain. And what I've been doing is I've been leaving it in the vise. Eh? Oh, sorry guys, sorry. I've been leaving it in the vise for like a week and come around and file a couple teeth. There we go. Now we're, now we're getting there. I'll bet this thing's pretty much done here now. Is that down on there in the good? Oh, I better just... Oof. 
hoping that this, because when you're cutting great big wood, you do not want to be all crazy hungry and biting into the wood. You want a nice, smooth, smooth cut, okay? Mm, there's more messages. Okay, so, so this is a good sign. This means that the rakers are appearing again. So, do, do you know what I mean by that? Before they, were, they weren't even in the realm. And I'm on softwood, and we're actually cutting hardwood. But I, I know how it was cutting because I was there cutting with it. So I, I, know what to, I know what to expect, and I know what they're after. So uh, that's the nice thing about hand filing. You can kind of customize to what you're after. I think this is done here now. I don't want to get egged, you know. Long chain. There, I'm done. This chain's done, okay? Okay, just a quick overview of what just happened here. Here's this chain, okay? Look at this thing. It's long. Probably five, well, it is. It's five feet long. Oh, oh. <coughs> Excuse me. She's five feet long, and I just finished filing it. I can't tell you how many teeth there is. But you'll notice, here's a side view. See the hook? See the hook in the chain? Pa boom, pa boom. There it is, from the side. Hey, all I know is when you buy a chain from the factory, there's no meat there, and you take it back all the way back. You can't have this meat in here. You got to get rid of it. Okay, so there it is. There's our ten degrees on top. Okay. almost straight across might even be like 10 12 degrees okay the other side me sorry guys sorry you see this is what I'm talking about I'll use this nail right there gullet top working corner that's the working corner right there call it the working corner hook Gullet. Okay. Raker. All right. Drivers. Okay. So I, I don't know if that helps. I hope it does. Um, you know, it's one of those things. Every wood's different. Hardwood, softwood. It's all different. It acts differently in chains. You know, I, I don't get too excited about cutting. Uh, well, I got some oak today of cutting. You know, I use pretty much, I use pretty much one angle, okay, um, on my power saws. Uh, I don't know exactly what it is. Somewhere, somewhere around 30 degrees, I, I guess. That seems to be the number. I, I don't know. I Maybe even back a bit. Maybe 25, maybe. Somewhere in there. I don't know. I really don't know. I just know that when I cut, it works. Uh, here's some oak that we got. I'm going to cut up on the, uh, after I pressure wash it. And here's another one of these that I picked up today. It's not in the nicest shape, but I might replace it with one of these because I think I might take one of these down. And oh, did I show you guys this thing? <laughs> anyway, back to the chains. Uh, chain is cha chain is everything. I I'll never forget the time when I got onto grind and chain. You know, I file a pretty mean saw, I'll be honest, I do. But when I got on a grinding chain, you know what the stand-up grinder, chisel grinder, my old fallen partner got me into it? <laughs> I, it was a whole new world for me. An absolute whole new world. You know, I, I, when I'm falling out in the bush and I got no steel to worry about, I cut strictly full house uh, chain with, with a stand-up grinder and I grind my chain every night. It's just, it's so smooth and so fast, you know. Uh, but when you're in residential, you're into the nails. You guys know it as much as I do. Or if you're cutting firewood, it's uh, you're, you're hitting stuff. You just are, you know. Uh, you just are. Okay. So 
Um, you, you learn to file a power saw, I'll tell you that, when you when you're run a firewood business or you do that stuff. So um, any little tips uh, that, that I picked up along the way are, were usually from old time loggers and dry land sort guys that were living on power saws and and uh, just living in the bush. And that, that was where I got most of my stuff. I, I didn't pick up my stuff in a tree service uh, in the urban. I didn't pick my stuff up there. Uh, I just didn't. So anyhow, um, so if some of this stuff is working for you, great. Do not be afraid to try some different angles. This is not, it's not gonna be, oh my God, I ruined my chain. It's not. Experiment. Cut it across a little more. Turn on a little more of an angle out. Try some different things. Get that gullet out, but make sure when you're getting your gullet out that you don't forget to straighten out your cut after you pull the gullet out. Straighten out that file and make sure you get that top because you can get a horrible hook in there and it'll just be grabby and snotty and you won't like it at all. You won't. So uh, you, you, you've got to get it cutting right it takes some time but when you get it oh you're gonna love it it's nice it's real nice because these things can cut fast and it's easier on your hands your body your power saw it's easier on everything so enough ramble of ramskis talk to you thanks again for all the nice comments that have been coming in i really appreciate it you guys got any questions man you know what Pfft, let them fly let them fly Let's shoot some stuff back and forth. We're already doing it with a couple of buddies. We've been talking about the filing and that. That's why I've been kind of doing a bit of filing and that. We've been kind of swapping back some ideas and, and this and that. So feel free. Over and out. See you in the trees. A good old walk talk. People and a straight six was a fan. Rattle it up that old log in a row. In search of a buckskin log. A few pulls on that McCullough. She'd be laying on her